What's up guys, Sega here into the guys today, doing an unboxing video finally after two years, since I have nothing to unbox, uh, of the brand new Apple AirTag, and it's not included, and unfortunately very expensive, leather keyring. Luckily it is not the Hermes version, which is for some reason $500, but this is the standard Apple leather keyring in brown, accompanied by the AirTag itself. So the Apple AirTags were released by the company just under a couple weeks ago and just became available for pre-order to the public. So I managed to pick one up. I woke up at 8.30 in the morning on the day of and pre-ordered them to get them in by today. And we're going to be taking a look at the Apple AirTags from a actual customer standpoint. So let's take a look at how they are. Let's do an unboxing and we're going to go ahead and give it a test on how well they work. The phone that I currently use is an Apple iPhone XS Max. So it is not the latest iPhone, it is sort of like a phone that most people would be using. So we're gonna see how well the Apple AirTags work with a standard non-12 or 12 Pro iPhone. All right, so on with the actual unboxing now, we're gonna go ahead and start off with the AirTag itself. And we're gonna have my iPhone nearby to prepare for setup and see how well it works. All right, so starting off with the actual AirTag itself, it comes in a pretty small, simple little box. On the back here, you get some information and a little flap here to hang it up on the wall if you're an Apple store. The bottom of it is just a simple Apple and just a simple clean box. So to open it, you have a little pull tag here. You're gonna go ahead and pull this and it should slide open like that. Just like so, that opens up and there's a little tab here to help you pull it out inside the box. Because this is an accessory they consider it, you do not get Apple stickers, unfortunately but you do get a few papers here to explain safety and handling with the battery. It has a CR2032 button cell battery. It's a pretty typical battery you can find pretty much anywhere in the stores. Your regulatory compliance information and the warranty information right here. So onto the Apple AirTag itself. You can see here comes in a pretty simple package. It just says AirTag on the front. You open it up and revealing the AirTag itself. On the first thing here, it tells you to update to the latest iOS or iPadOS because it works on both devices. It does work on the iPod Touch as well. All you have to have is your Bluetooth turned on and then to pull the tag once you unbox the actual AirTag. Hold the device about two centimeters away or two inches away from the power button of your iPhone and the device will pick it up automatically. So we're gonna go ahead and test that out right now. Taking the actual AirTag out, it's a pretty, Typical Apple product, it's very solid and good quality. And you can see here, it's got a little metal backing where the battery sits in, and the rest of it is just standard white plastic. So what I have here is my iPhone XS Max. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the actual AirTag itself. So there's a little tab here, it tells you to pull it back, pull it around, and the second you pop this out, it makes a sound, and it gets picked up on the iPhone itself going to say AirTag and you're going to want to hit connect. You're going to have to give it a name. So in this case, it's going to be for my keys. I'm going to hit continue. It's going to register my AirTag to my Apple ID, but you hit continue and it's going to start setting it up as keys. You'll hear a sound and the keys will say that it is set up. Now it's going to say that the keys are with me and my home address is shown on the image here, which will of course be blurred out. It'll tell you a few things you can do with it, which is directions and maps. If you see this somewhere else that is lost, you can go ahead and have maps direct you towards it. You can play a sound or find it with Hey Siri. Once you're completed here, you can see view and find my app and you're going to go ahead and see your AirTag on here. I'm going to go ahead and let you listen to the sound it makes when you tell it to play a sound. So when tapping play sound, you're going to hear it. That's what it sounds like when the Apple AirTag makes a sound. So the AirTag itself is going to give you a few options. You're going to have a lost mode, which you can enable and will alert anybody who is nearby your AirTag. If the person was to scan the back of the AirTag, it'll bring up directions or information about you and who you are for them to return the AirTag to you. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and proceed with the unboxing and taking a look at the Apple AirTag leather key ring. This is the standard leather key ring from Apple. This is in the brown color. Unlike the Apple Hermes version, which costs around $500 for no particular reason other than it being Hermes, this seems to be the better deal if you want an Apple OEM product as a leather key ring. On the Apple online store, there is the option for a Belkin key ring, which costs significantly less than this. This is about $45. The the Belkin one is in the $20 range, which is probably more suitable for the majority of people. So unboxing the Apple keyring, it is the same process as the actual AirTag itself. You can see it gives you, it gives you examples of how to install it. 
and you simply pull this little tab down here, slide it across, and you should be able to pop it open from the bottom, like so. There will be a tab here which you can pull, revealing the Apple keyring itself with no documentation on the inside. Pulling out the keyring, you can see this little plastic envelope here, or paper rather. It's actually very, very nicely designed. You can see a stainless steel keyring designed by Apple in California, assembled in China. It is bright polish with, of course, the actual leather keyring itself. When opening up the tab here, you'll be able to remove this and the actual Apple AirTag can go in like so. Once you have the AirTag installed, you simply snap this clip closed, which looks very nice, and you have the keyring now as a little keychain. So the following here are the items I want to attach to my keyring. I have my car keys here, and I have my house key, which are the two basic needs that I need on my keychain and the stuff that I do not want to lose. So here's what they look like with the Apple AirTag attached. It looks like a standard keychain, and it does replace anything else such as this that you would have on your keys. Uh, it does look very nice, and the big chrome ring is rather cumbersome, like you get the... I have a Mercedes key here, and I ended up putting back the small ring to attach to this because this thing would hang out sideways, and if I were to put it into the ignition on my car, this would just be hanging out and hitting the steering wheel. So having it like this allows it to dangle a little bit easier, and when you put the car in to start, it just hangs down instead of straight out like this. Otherwise, it's very small and compact, uh, it doesn't have any weight to it, really. And it does look quite nice, actually. I know this chrome, this uh, polished stainless steel finish will indeed scratch very easily, but the keys I have attached don't seem to get to it pretty easily. So as long as you're not putting this with a thousand different keys, which is probably the case for most people, this should last a pretty decent amount of time. Of course, dbrand does offer skins for Apple AirTags, which you could just put a head right on top of this, and your actual AirTag will not scratch whatsoever. The key itself is designed pretty well, you can see here there is a nice button which is pretty well designed and the overall fit and finish of the leather key ring plus the air tag itself is quite nice. Apple air tags are available with engraving options if you do order this online when they come out. Uh, you get options of emojis to put on the white surface or a four letter initial you can, ins you can engrave on the white side of the air tag. These come in a pack of one or four. The pack of four is probably the better option for most people because it does cost less per air tag. Overall, I feel like this product is pretty good. I just give it a test it out, and we're gonna see how long the battery lasts, but they do claim one year, so I'm sure a lot of other YouTubers will be making an update in a year's time on how long the batteries last. Thanks for watching, guys. Tech Boot.